Today we're checking out our 1972 Buick GS. Real deal GS 350. Not your typical Skylark. It's a really neat car. You know, we had a stage one this exact same color. Bamboo cream. Exactly. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna paint this black right away when it came in, you know, because it was a cool car. Freaking everyone loved the bamboo cream. Yeah, They're the like, I color. used to have one that color. And so it is a great color for Buick. Not my favorite, but it's a great color. Look at the quality of the car overall in general. I classify this as just a really nice turnkey local car show quality car. Um, nice cruise night car, good investment grade car if you want to take it a little higher up to the next level someday. Um, obviously was a 350 four barrel, factory GS car. Air conditioning does work, Dalton. We just charged it up. I drove it yesterday. Nice. Um, inner fender paint's done all correctly. It's an older paint job. I'm guessing probably 15 to 25, 30 years mm -hmm. old, but it still looks really good, very presentable and uh, very showable still. Uh, front bumper is original. A little rubber um, all the way along here is original as well. Does still have the bumper guards, original chrome here. Just a really nice survivor trim on the car. Interior is kind of the same way, just nice original survivor. Yeah, that interior is, is really nice. Both gaps here on the hood line up nice. Obviously, you got the working GS hood. It's got the factory style wheels on it. Um, I think they are four, yeah, they are 14, they're 215, uh, 14s, I'm um, 75 14s, I'm sorry. And you're going to find a couple little paint touch-ups right here. There's one, another one up here. There's a strip to bare metal right here, it has a chip. But again, this is what I like to see, I mean, look how thin that paint is right mm -hmm. there. I mean, you got one coat of paint, looks like to me at the most. Um, bottom of the front fender, bottom of the door. Where the door meets the rocker nice and solid there as well nice and smooth gaps good from top to bottom original door handles got a few little uh chrome pops in it don't do it please. don't do it okay now that's an exhaust leak i heard one. <laughs> i thought he was gonna hammer that big exhaust leak six cylinder mustang going by here um, back glass is crystal clear. The top of the back uh, um, seat's nice. The package tray's really nice. And there's absolutely no flaws anywhere in this vinyl top. I like it. I do too. I always like these GSs. Looks like it's got new, uh, new rubber around the tail lights and new uh, trim here as well. New tail light lenses. And I think the original ones are in there. And there's some other parts in there as well. Um, if you go to our website, cavityclassics.com, they all show up there in the pictures. Behind the rear wheels, all solid and good. Nice straight car. It's got about six little tiny little paint imperfections right here. Very nice door rubbers, rust free doors. Never had any issues. Uh, green carpet matches. I think the interior really looks, you know, it could be original still. Let's see here possible you can see that they tape that a little bit hold that in door panels are nice headliner looks good lights work in the back it's kind of an odd color combination too with the green isn't it it is green carpet green dash green on the bottom green headliner with kind of a you know a tan tan seats on top of the door panels Dash is just remarkable. The dash pad's excellent. The steel right here on the dash is all painted. Original looks like still. Jam paint is original right here. Nice and clean. The gentleman's muscle car is what they call these. It is, and it's not like super fast, but the kick down works good. Um, we did put a new set of air shocks in it, Dalton, just to give it, you know, just so it has a little better stance. Tires, uh, as far as tread, looks really good. Over the wheel wells, nice. Again, the bottom of the door on the driver's side matches up really nice to the quarter panel here, which we like to see. 
not a trailer queen show quality car but something you can take in any local car show and be very proud of it That annoying door buzzer still works, which is cool. This says a lot about it. Um, it's got 23,643. I'm guessing 123 well taken care of is what I would guess. It's got a remote mirror, power steering, um, power brakes and air. Remote mirror works as well. Horn works. Let's go through some of the stuff right here, huh? Good. It works. Original AM FM radio works. I know the air works. Um, interior dome lights work. Underneath, both of the underneath lights work and the back panel lights. And here's the best, man. AC works good. Yeah, that's definitely nice to have on a day like today. All right, let's do it. Factory tack works as well. That's kind of nice to have factory tack. It is. It is nice. Um, we've got it idling kind of low. Um, you know, a guy might want to turn the idle up. It's idling like at five or six hundred right now. So we'll see what happens with that when it warms up. You know. It's not a, a tire squealer, but I'll tell you what, it gets right up to speed, fifty-five right there. Nice and quiet too. We yeah. put a different exhaust manifold on it. The one came in with it had a crack in it. Look at that. Brakes are perfect. Perfect brakes. Our idle's right now at 500. Nice. So gas gauge works as well. Pretty cool. On the, you can feel the air There's starting to come up. Central yeah. Central springs. Air feels the good. The speakers are good, huh? It runs good. It, it just does. doesn't have. There's a shift at 4,800 nice RPM. Shift. I just have it to the floor right now. 70 mile an hour, 4,500 nice RPM. Second shift, 80 mile an hour. That's 3,300 RPM. It's really some nice highway gears. Yeah, really nice run and driving car. But look at this. This is the main thing with it. This ain't gonna beat your some of our Novas and Chevelles right now. The brakes work good too. Yeah, they do. Kick down works. I think it drives awesome. Suspension yeah, feels impressive. great. Uh, we bought this in the 66 uh, Ford uh, Fairlane uh, XL, 500 XL convertible from the same couple. It was kind of a his or hers. Um, and this is what she drove. Nice. So, I mean, it's a nice car. It's very, very dependable. So, it is. Check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comments section if you're watching on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.